Hello, I am Hot Mess Ness MUA, otherwise known as Vanessa. And if you've noticed by the title and the intro of this video, you see that I have a lot of brushes. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about Morphe Me and why I think I'm going to cancel. So for the month of October, they sent five brushes. They're really cute, they're pink, they're adorable. Uh, I have kept the subscription going because I thought, oh, content. But half the time I'm not filming it. And if you looked at the video, I'm gonna insert some clips of the amount of brushes that I have. It's gotten to the point where, number one, I won't use them all, and number two, I now have enough brushes that I don't necessarily need to try out new styles or shapes. I know what I like to use. So I'm really thinking that it's time to cancel my Morphe Me Live Glam subscription. So. You see that they send a, a good variety, but I've already taken a look and I'm gonna send that, um, put little pictures of what's supposed to come in November. So after looking at the November selection, you see that you get one big dome powder brush, which I think I already own, one tapered E, I think it's the E18, that's a good brush, and then a lip brush, and I never use lip brush brushes, like just something I don't need. So I'm already looking at this subscription as kind of a wash. Now with Live Glam, you can skip to the next month. So I think I'm gonna hold for November and then look at December's and decide whether or not there's things in there that I absolutely must have. Now when I first signed up for Live Glam for the Morphe Me subscription, they did say that if you were Live Glam that you got to have first dib on new Morphe releases. And this did happen twice. The first time was for when the 350 was completely sold out, you got first dibs if you were signed up for the monthly brush subscription. The second time was when they had their single shadows, you got first dibs, and then it just went away. And I don't know how much of that has to do with Morphe selling off part of its company, or maybe it's grown so big that they just forgot about the things that they promised in the beginning. And I feel like if you were trying to get the Jaclyn Hill palette, that should have been first dibs or the new 3502. Just early access to those kind of products, which makes this kind of a subscription worth its weight. At this point, for me personally, I have so many damn brushes. There's brushes coming out my ass. I have, I mean, obviously I got these in October and I haven't even used them yet. If you are somebody that is new to makeup or you're growing your brush collection, you're still trying to learn what kind of brushes you need and what works for your face, then I absolutely believe still that this subscription is good. And now you have the option to check out the brushes. You can trade them out. You can suspend your subscription for the month. And then they have better gifts. So there's a point system that you can use and then you can trade those points in for products from Tarte, from Lime Crime. I was just on there to see what all you can get. So if you are somebody that has been on the fence and you don't have a lot of brushes, I think it's a great idea. If you are a makeup artist and you have a ton of brushes and you need more, might not be bad either. But if you're like me, where you're starting to get to the point where you know what you like, like I will use this brush. I don't know about this one. I mean, it's okay. Uh, but I, I won't probably use this. This will be like if one of my other brushes is dirty. It's not dense enough for me to do a contour, but it's light enough to do a light blushing. So that's just a little take on Morphe subscription. Leave me in the comments down below if you think I should keep my Morphe subscription or not. For the now, I'm definitely going to be suspending for November because I just don't think I need another big powder brush, a lip brush, and another eye brush. So if you guys know of anything else that is subscription-based that's brushes, let me know. I do have a love for brushes. That's probably why I have so many. But eventually you start to just know what works for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.